hello again and welcome. Just over a week ago my shop vac gave up the ghost so I was in the market for a new shop vac which got me to thinking I could possibly utilise my old NV750 from Axminster, uh, a pneumatic machine which has been dedicated to dust extraction at the lathe as my shop vac because it will have mobility because the NVD NVD750 which is the bigger brother comes with a free mobile unit uh, trolley and the fixings are the same so I thought right kill two birds with one stone I went into the detail and I decided to buy the NVD750 which is a very powerful and effective machine and until I played around with it for a day or two didn't realize quite how flexible it was either however my old machine has served me extremely well and that will now become my shop vac as I said um, the main drawback with that it was and is that it has only a 53mm outlet which has been great but what, I've had, what I did and used for years was this flexible hose which is very effective and especially for a smaller environment bearing in mind my lathe was facing a wall and I didn't have the room that I have now with the lathe situated here and of course the footprint is very small. I also invested £15 just under from Axminster in the um, the big mouth dust hood and as you can see the catchment area is far bigger um, which is what I wanted. So okay the the new machine I'm going to go through in detail. One further point to note as I was getting used to it and seeing all its its options um, if I was starting out and I had this knowledge if you like I wouldn't have got that and I wouldn't have got the um, record power, the entry level one that I use on the band saw and the table saw because this chappy would have done everything because it is so flexible and manoeuvrable but we'll go into that in detail in a second. So I hope you find this interesting um, and obviously as usual if you have any com comments or questions please ask them in the comments below and I'll leave links to the various pieces of kit that I'm going to be going through today in the description below. So I'll change the camera angle now and let's have a good in-depth look at the Axminster Trade NVD 750. In essence the machine has a 35 litre capacity, it has a, um, a trolley which is brilliant, I'll show you how to clip on and off, which gives you terrific manoeuvrability. It has a um, an indicator on here if your dust bags, if your dust bag or the filtration isn't uh, affected being effective a little light comes up here which means you have to change the filter or change the bag on off switch here and extraction port here which I'll go into a little a little bit later on and it is powered by two 1200 watt motors uh, it comes with four meters of the four inch or 100 mil flexible hose it comes with a reducer it comes with a reducer to fit onto the machine which I'll go into in a second and also it comes with a 32 millimeter hose as well for general cleaning up vacuuming and also for attaching to smaller power tools and the lead is a very effective 10 meters so you've got a lot of flexibility with this machine which led me to say about the fact that I don't think I'd have the other two machines uh, this would suit me completely so the main aspect is the four inch outlet which then can connect to like mine a dust hood and the stand there which I've had a few years it fits on there very nicely so you have that flexibility and should you wish to use the thinner hose the 32 mil hose you do have two options you can either fit on this reducer onto your main port there and then screw it to there or if you so wish you can take the block cap off this part here put it onto your um, 
onto the larger outlet, block that off and then screw your 32mm hose on there so you get all that flexibility. Now the brilliance of the four meters of flexible hose for a workshop of my size which is I think 30, 34 feet long if you like that <clears throat> while that's attached and when it's I won't be using this carriage because as I say this is going to be dedicated at the lathe this will be on my other one my old one and I'll be using that as the shop vac um, the hose reaches my bandsaw and my table saw so I literally wouldn't have to have the other machine. There's that to it. Now this little chappy here will fit onto your power tools and onto things like um, a disc sander whatever by means of the reducer and you know fiddling around one way or the other whatever size route that is you can get that sorted. So it now obviously what was important is noise levels. Now the my old one, which had a single motor, had um, uh, 69 decibels. This has a twin motor, 77 decibels, so it is a bit louder than the other one, but it's still very quiet considering the amount of power it creates. Now, this cap here is the exhaust, and there is a air an, an air diffuser. Now, I phoned Axminster and I asked them whether it was essential to put the uh, air diffuser on because it does create a higher noise level. Providing you replace the cap after use, so in other words when you leave the workshop, the whole idea of this is to reduce the amount of dust and rubbish that can go inside. But believe you me, while it's working, nothing's going to get anywhere near there because that is like a fountain of air coming out of there at a very high pressure. So in actual fact, what I do now, and I've only had it a couple of days, but what I do now is ensure that I put that on when I leave the workshop. I don't screw it on completely. I just cover it like so, and it's just loosely on there because when you actually turn it on, and I'll turn it on now and I'll just put the extraction on there, uh, the diffuser, and we'll oh, just attach it to my dust hood and switch him on. Now, if I remove this, you can tell how much. Now the thing is that obviously Axminster can't go against what's in the manual but I, there is a little grid inside there and I see absolutely no reason why you can't leave that off while in operation providing when you finish you place that back on top. But even if you just put it on top and do it to the first uh, screw thread, you turn it on and it pop off anyway. So that's just me, that's just a personal thing just put that on top there. Now to take the top off, take the motor off, there's two clips, one on either side and you can you can configure the top to the best for you wherever you are actually working. That comes off and you can see in there the twin motors. You put that on the ground and a, a little thought there as you can see there are four little rubber feet, so you can put that on the ground without fear of damaging anything. Now in here you have the filter system, you have the red uh, filter, which is the primary filter, and that's Filtrex, and then you have the uh, secondary white filter, which is a Permatex filter. In addition to that, sorry, a bit of traffic outside, in addition to that, this is a HEPA flow bag. Now for this configuration, what I've done and what you do is cut the bag from its original fixing and literally place it like so and then put the filters in. 
So it doesn't just go through these two filters, the primary and the secondary filter, it's also going through this bag. Now this is what is amazing. I've only used it for about half an hour maybe, three quarters of an hour in total. And that is what has been trapped just in the bag. Or on the bag I should say, on the HEPA flow bag. So that is the first port of call for our dust and then it goes through the primary filter and then it goes through the secondary filter. So it basically has a three stage filtration system before it is exhausted through the exhaust valve. A very impressive setup in my view. And what I was saying earlier about its flexibility regarding the bigger machines, if I take the hose from the hood at the lathe, I can easily attach it to my bandsaw and also to my table saw. So it covers my three big machines without any problem at all. And with the attachment of the thinner hose, you can reach quite easily, you can move the machine on the trolley to where you're working, and that will then sort your extraction out for your hand tools and your smaller bench tools as well. So just to end, I'm going to show you how effectively this collects the dust, not only from the point of production, but also any that goes over the top, which it does, it also drags that in as well. Not, in, not only with hand sanding, I'm going to be using 180 grit here for hand sanding, also for the inertia sander, because the inertia sander is notorious for throwing dust everywhere. Now in addition to a good extraction system like this, I can't impress enough that when sanding especially always wear either a valved face mask at the very minimum or a powered respirator but some form of PPE in addition. Okay so we'll start off with the hand sanding and 500, 600 grade, 500 grade just, just for this demo. Okay so not only taking it from here, from where it's being produced, but anything that's going over the top is also being dragged in as well. Now if I go to the inertia sander and increase the speed to what I would normally sand at, again 180 grit. Again the same thing. It is collecting the vast majority of the dust that's been produced. And just to, just to prove the point, the bedways, let me just pan down there, the bedways there, and I haven't cleaned them off honestly, there's nothing on the bedways, so it is, it is actually captured all the dust produced from that sanding operation there. Not bad. Well in conclusion, in my opinion, I think it is a very effective and flexible machine. Whether you be a new turner looking to get a dust extraction system for the first time or indeed an existing turner looking to add to your current setup, I think this NVD 750 is really worth considering. I always say they're my thoughts, my opinions, nothing is set in stone. It just hopefully gives you that bit of extra information, a bit of food for thought before you make your final choice. I'll put links in the description below as usual for the machine and indeed the dust hood as well. Well thank you very much indeed for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, stay safe and I'll see you very soon. Cheers now.